Hello, this is Jason Clement, Technical Sales Manager at Isonus, and welcome to this online training module. This module is bit masking in DB Crystal. Our prerequisites are a basic understanding of card formats. If you Google HID understanding card data formats, one of the top results will be a PDF from HID reviewing the basics of the Wiegand format and how to break down the bits that are sent from the proximity reader and a basic understanding of binary. Our objectives are to understand how to test cards in DB Crystal to achieve the proper bit mask, learn how to create custom bit masks, and learn how to implement those formats on the Isonus devices. So first off, what is bit masking? Bit masking within Isonus is pointing our product to where the card number is within the Wiegand string that we read. Looking at the standard 26-bit Wiegand format, we can see that only a portion of the bits we receive are the actual card number that the system is looking for. The facility code is not used directly in the system, but it is stored in the badge GUID. The GUID is used within our system as the badge number, so the same card number with a different facility code will not read the same and therefore will not grant access within the system. Bit masking is needed whenever the credentials are not formatted in the Isonus format. For our first example, we have received this card from an end user to test to ensure that we can read the card in our system. In my lab, I have a HID prox reader, an IP bridge, and DB crystal up and running. Note the card number portion of the card. This is what is referred to as the hot stamp number. Now let's take a look at the software and see how this is accomplished. So my copy of DB Crystal up and running. I have a test CSUP that's connected to my IP bridge. And demo number four is the port that I have the HID prox reader connected to. The first thing we need to do is actually stop this controller supervisor. Once that's stopped, we'll go to doors, program multiple doors, our HID mass tab, and then we wanna choose the door that we're actually going to test from. In this case, it's demo number four, the port that I have my HID prox reader connected to. So we'll go ahead and click test. Again, this will only work if the controller supervisor is stopped. So here in my highlighted line, I can see that demo unit number four is connected to our DBC test application. The first thing we wanna do is basically read this card and see what we're getting off of it. So we'll go ahead and first thing we wanna do is press read bits one through 32. And then we'll click read bits 33 through 64 if it's higher than a 32-bit card. And then all we have to do is review our formatted credentials. So if you remember, our card number matches our 26-bit card and facility code. So if this was the card that I was actually going to use, I could actually choose 26-bit card and facility code, set which doors I want to push this bit mask to, which typically will be all doors, and then I'll click apply. In this case, I'm not going to do that. We have another card that we're gonna test and that one will actually apply to our IP bridge. For our second example, we will test this card with the same setup as the previous card. So let's jump over to our DB Crystal software. We'll go through the same process. We'll go to doors, program multiple doors, HID mask, and we'll test our demo for that has our HID prox connected to it. Verify that we're connected. And now we'll take our card, read bits one through 32, and read bits 33 through 64. So we can see here that none of the formatted credential numbers match the hot stamp on the card. So the first thing we want to do is find a decimal to binary calculator. I have one here that I found through Google. And what you want to do is basically type in the card number and convert that to binary. Take that binary value, copy and paste it into a notepad. It's key to use a notepad because notepad uses the same space for each character so it'll be easy for us to line everything up. So we'll just make a note here that this is the card number. We'll 
minimize all that and then we'll come back and we'll read this card again. We'll look at bits 1 through 32 because almost all of the time our card number is in those bits. So we're going to take that number and we're going to convert that number to binary also. This here is a combination of all the bits that we read in 1 through 32. This is basically the decimal equivalent to the binary that we read. So we'll go ahead and convert that as well. 427 5708649. Convert. Again, copy that and we'll paste that into our Word document. And now what we want to do is take this and match up this binary sequence. So through the number of times that I've done this, I know that typically the first bit here is going to be a parity bit. And then we can see here that that information there is all of our card number. And the rest of these binary digits here might be facility code, they might be parity bits, they might be something else. But we can see that our card number is right here within that string of bits. So basically we're going to ignore this first bit because that doesn't match up, that's just a parity bit. So if we take a look at our custom bit masking, we start at 1, go up to 8, 9 through 16, because when you look at binary you're kind of quote unquote reading from right to left. So if I go here and I start at space 1, which we're not going to use, we need to look at spaces 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So basically spots 2 through 23. And then we'll just go ahead and fill in all these check marks. And then it's going to give you the hexadecimal equivalent to that as well. So if you take a close look at the hexadecimal equivalent, it doesn't match up to anything that we've got there. So now let's go ahead and test this and see if it's working. So we'll read bits 1 through 32 again. And again, we'll read 33 through 64. So now we can see our custom bit mask. It is matching up to our card number of 2953588. So that's perfect. We'll go ahead and choose OK. We can minimize this notepad, minimize our calculator. We've got our custom bit mask set, and we're going to push the settings to all of these. Now for this portion of it, we actually have to have our CSUP started. So we'll go ahead and start our CSUP here. Make sure everything's online. And then we'll go ahead and click apply. That'll modify the reader controllers or the IP bridges, depending on what you're working with. So now we can go ahead and test it. So let's go and add a person into the system. We'll actually just add another card to myself here. So I'll double click on myself. We're going to do a read from our controller, our demo number four. So I'll go ahead and scan my card again. Click read from. Verify that we're pulling in that correct card number, which is 2953588, so our configuration was set right. We'll go ahead and add this in. See that my badge is set. Click OK. And now we're set. We can go ahead and either import in the rest of those badges using the hot stamp card number. You can enroll everybody, or you can add in additional cards as needed. Thank you for watching this module, and we hope it was very beneficial to you. Have a fantastic day.